New Always Sunny is better than old Always Sunny. With 12, soon to be 13, seasons under its belt, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is the longest running live action sitcom ever. Long showruns don't always mean long stretches of quality television, but Always Sunny has managed to buck the dreaded fall off as the show's most recent seasons represent its best work. Any long running series is going to hit creative walls as writers look for ways to insert new blood into their stories. Some shows, like South Park, have tried to answer this by switching episode formulas and rotating characters, while The Simpsons and Family Guy have more or less stood pat, offering very minor adjustments, and unfortunately, losing critical appeal in the process. Always Sunny has tried its best to find a middle ground, and as recent seasons have proven, moderation can be a great thing. The basic formula is largely unchanged from season one, and new characters are introduced slowly. Instead, the show builds off of jokes and characters from seasons past, creating a living, breathing mythology around the gang and the unfortunate souls that come into contact with them. The maimed characters come back bearing scars. I don't like it. Take it off. We want to talk Pop to you. Pop it off. We're talking conversation. Holy shit! Oh, shit! Holy dude. shit! Put, Put it, it back on. on! Put it on! Put it back on! Put it on! What the hell happened to your face? Sexual orientation moves it along a spectrum. Well, I'm gay. Yeah. No shit. Oh, you guys knew this right? That you were gay? From the oh day God. we met. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? What's going on? And absurd throwaway jokes get entire episodes dedicated to them. Keith McCoy lost his eyes and his ears to it in 76. And we all know that according to Bird Law, it's three strikes and you're out. Bye, bye, birdie. The result is an incredibly impressive second half catalog for Always Sunny, one that rewards dedicated fans and builds on the groundwork laid during the series' early run.